we all read history a lot right but how about if we experience it wouldn't it be more interesting that is why i'm here at one of the india's internationally renowned world heritage sites ajanta cave approximately 2000 years old these caves were carved out of hard ballistic rocks that may astonish any visitor nowadays ajanta caves are world famous for the wall paintings made with natural colors Ajanta Caves located in the Aurangabad district of Maharashtra, India are a group of 30 rocket Buddhist cave monuments which was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983. Hello everyone, welcome back to Jia the Explorer. I'm Jia and I hope you all are safe. So let's begin the journey of this marvelous ancient Indian art exhibition. Come with me and let's explore. You know, I'm on a trip to Sambhaji Nagar, which was earlier known as Aurangabad. In my last two vlogs, day one I had visited Bibi Ka Makbara, Dautabad Fort, and one of the Jyotirling Rishneshwar Temple. On day two, I had visited Ellora Caves. In case you have missed it, I have given the link in description for your reference. Now, on day three, I am visiting to Ajanta Caves. It is around 100 kilometers from Sambhaji Nagar. Road is good now, so you can reach within two and a half hours. Remember, Ajanta Caves take a little break every Monday, so no visiting them that day. So plan your trip accordingly. If you are going with your own vehicle, then after parking area, this is a small shopping area. You need to cross it and reach to a bus stand. From here, you need to go by MTDC bus to main Ajanta Cave ticket counter. It is around four kilometers and takes ten to fifteen minutes. needed but shh, don't tell them i told you the first thing you'll notice monkeys lots of them they're pretty much the welcoming committee but they're a bit cheeky so watch your snacks in case you need some pet puja after so much travel and want to recharge yourself before exploring the caves there is the small restaurant as well let's start Our main caves journey now. Got grandparents or anyone who's not a fan of walking much? No worries. There are cool chair services that can take them around. And then after a 10 minutes walk, bam! You're face to face with the most jaw-dropping view of the Ajanta Caves. So all the caves are located in a U-shaped structure. As you can see, and there are a, a total of 30 such caves. They are built in two phases. So let's go in each of them and explore in detail. Okay, time for a mini history lesson. But I promise to keep it fun. The Ajanta Caves were built in two parts. Once upon a time, in the second century, and then they made a grand return between the fourth and the sixth centuries. It's like they knew we were coming all these years later. Actually, all the caves represent Buddhism, including viharas and chaturgrihas. Let's start with cave number one. Cave number one represents vihara, means monastery. It's renowned for its detailed paintings and sculptures. The murals depict the scenes from the Jatak tales and the life of Buddha. The cave also houses a grand image of Buddha in preaching pose. Cave number two and to preserve the historical paintings, you see they have put the 
head also. Cave number two. Cave number two is similar to cave number one in its rich decorations. It contains paintings that depict the life of Buddha and various Buddhist deities. adorned with elaborate designs and the walls feature narrative paintings. Please pause this video. Oh, it's only for those viewers who have not subscribed my channel yet. Just hit the subscribe button and done. Now play the video again from remaining journey of the Ajanta Caves. So if you want to see the whole Ajanta Caves, the whole U shape, so you have to cross that bridge and your trek will start from there. Your trek is around uh, 30 minutes and you see that tower, that point. From there you can see the whole U shape. But currently I am not going there. Let's move forward. So this is the main cave, cave number 10. Let's go inside and witness its beauty. Cave number 10 represents Chatya, means worship hall. It's one of the oldest chapter halls at Ajanta, featuring a stupa and early Buddhist architecture. The cave's face it is decorated with figures of Buddha. working on several caves for scientific conservation so that caves don't lose their original beauty. This is cave number 17. Guy told me that it's also known as musical cave. If you pat these poles slowly, you will hear very sweet sound and echo. See, it generates music. Wow, what an architecture! So you have to walk a lot over here. Achha. It will easily take you 3 to 4 hours to cover each cave in detail. Thigge. So you have to keep your water bottle with you to keep yourself hydrated. Thigge. Thigge, Griha means worship hall among all caves. A significant feature of cave number 26 is its impressive stupa, which is adorned with a seated Buddha statue as well as lying down statue. This cave stands out for its artistic and architectural grandeur, making it a key highlight of the Ajanta Caves complex. 
सो दिस इज केव नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स द अदर फोर आर इनकम्प्लीट एंड हेंस नॉट अलाउड फॉर द पब्लिक सो दिस इज द एंड ऑफ माई अजंता केव टूर होप यू ऑल लव डिट एंड आई ट्राइड माई बेस्ट टू कवर ईच केव इन डिटेल टू शो ऑल ऑफ यू एंड आई मस्ट रिकमेंड दैट वेन एवर यू हैव टाइम यू शुड डेफिनेटली विजिट दिस अजंता केव इट इज रियली सो स्टनिंग really beautiful to witness the indian heritage it's really worth so time to move on we'll meet you to a new and other place by the time be safe take care bye bye While coming back after such a historical journey, don't forget to take souvenir from this small market to keep your memories alive forever.